So I wanted to do a March 2020 update. <sighs> Obviously, a lot of crazy stuff has happened this month. I don't even know where to start. Let's just start at the beginning, I guess. <laughs> wow, a concept. Obviously, a thing happened that is affecting the entire world. I'm not gonna push push it on you guys. You guys already freaking know what happened, what's going on. But summarize, I basically don't really have a job right now or I'm not getting hours at my job, which is fine, I guess, because I said I didn't want hours, but like whatever, still annoyed, but honestly my fault. Um, <laughs> me being stupid. Oh my gosh. So I've just been doing Instacart, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically like you get groceries delivered to your house and it's um, different stores, like specific stores do it. I know Sater Brothers, Vaughn, Sprouts, all those, all those big name people, you know, do it. Basically, you just like order your groceries online and then I go grocery shopping for you and I deliver it to your house or I just deliver it, potato, potato. Instacart has been blowing up and I can do literally like two or three orders and make a decent amount of money. I mean, it's not like anything <laughs> like the paycheck I've been getting at my other job that I would normally get, but you know, it's something and that's all that we can really, you know, hope for. I'm gonna actually talk about what I did this month or what's been going on. So like I said earlier, don't really have a job right now, but that's okay. Like I said, doing Instacart, totally fine. And also I just think it's so funny that the one time I have to have a class that I have to go to IRL, you know, I'm a strictly online student, but I have to have a lab in order to graduate. This thing happens and it's just moved to online anyways. And I'm just like, you know, like, whatever. Good thing, it's a good darn thing that I'm not like, that I didn't pay for parking. You know, I never pay for parking. I just park on the side of the street, run to class. Yeah, cheap. It's just honestly insane. What else happened this month? Oh yeah, I had to file for partial unemployment too. And I should be hearing, I applied for graduation at my school. So hopefully, you know, I can graduate or they'll at least send me like a diploma or something because I doubt that they'll have like an actual graduation ceremony, which I don't really care about. Okay, so I'm gonna read something that I wrote on March 20th, right? Um, so we're about five days in, no, we're about like four-ish days into just being home and doing nothing. So I haven't gone crazy yet, but, um, and also this is like one of the few writings that I haven't, um, titled. I usually, I never would title them. And then every once in a while I'll think of a name for like a really old writing and I'll give it a new title, but this one, I don't have one. So I wrote this on March 20th at 1239 AM. Isn't that crazy? Sit down, lay back, and think about it. I mean, really think about it. Flow back into your personality, your ego of 2015. Yeah, I remember. Nervous about everything, but not caring about anyone. Ah, uh, it was a simpler time. <laughs> remember when you wanted everything to be memorable? How you worked so hard to fashion memories out of everyday tasks? How something as simple as walking to class alone wasn't enough? I simply remember it all too well. And now look at you. Those people don't even remember you and you choose to keep it that way. Are you distancing Are you distancing yourself? Are you distancing from yourself? No, I've never wanted people to notice me or better yet care about my actions. Guess that's why it made it so hard when people did. I felt like I needed to though, right? Doesn't everyone feel that at some point? thinking they need to be noticed because it's what you're supposed to do, humanly or egotistical. It's hard to tell. All I know is every high school teen rom-con plops down the scenario right in front of you 
Why can't they think of anything else to show us? Stop telling us we relate to these characters that feel insecure because of other likewise pretty or attractive people in the realm of high school. The truth is everyone is just the same. There's your movie. Truthfully, everyone is just the same. Maybe that will make you want to stand out. Not to gain a sense of purpose, but to break a status quo. Is that any better? Should we stay in the stream of yes and no's? Who tells us Who tells us this? Who is going to define these terms? Yeah, I spent a lot of my high school thinking about this. There's your movie. Worst part? Everything is high school, right? There's a plentiful yet equally attract Wait, there's the plentiful yet equally attractive as you people that you see all the time or know about, but they don't really know you at all. And that somehow makes us think that they're better just because we know more about them. What about the privacy? Come on, Cameron, don't you remember when you didn't... Come on, Cameron, remember when you didn't want anything to change and came to terms with your less than a phone slide phone in high school? Remember when you were so different from anyone else, but not in a in your face, tell me I'm better than you type of way? Yeah, sigh. I do. How did insecurity start? Just at all. I never really felt it, especially in high school. Was it the makeup? I could wear makeup every day and look at myself for what seemed like hours just admiring me. When I'm bare, I'm more me than I'll ever be. Someone had to have done it, right? Did someone tell me I was ugly? No. Do I think I'm ugly? Not every day. Do I like my body? Yeah, it's nice, I guess. Could be better, but what does that even mean? Do I like me just at all? I miss old Cameron. 2015 was the only year I truly felt like myself because of my abstractedness. Because I didn't look like everybody else or dress the same or even listen to the same music, yet I was appreciated for all that. Here I am, so much older than 14, and I'm... I'm not sure how to end this just at all. Thanks for listening. Is it just so incredibly sad that I end all my entries like that? Or is it just all in my head? So yeah. <laughs> That's just one of the things that I wrote in um, March. There's a lot more, honestly, that I could dive into. But... We'll see the feedback on this one because it honestly takes a lot for me to... <clears throat> well, there was a time in my life where sharing these um, journal entries, I like to call them, where sharing these journal entries were um, was simple because the person I was sharing them to appreciated them and would give me feedback on them. And that person isn't necessarily in my life anymore. They didn't die. Um, I just don't talk to them but you know so since then I've been trying to find like a way for me to express myself through my journal entries like telling it to someone and I just haven't really gotten the feedback that I've been hoping for and it just makes me feel more like I should just not <laughs> tell anybody about it and just like keep it to myself so hopefully like expressing it and this video will help to um, solidify that it is important to share your thoughts and your feelings in your writings. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so if you guys like me sharing that, because I definitely have a lot, I have a ton, I have a bunch of journals and stuff and things that I can share you about. I write quite often, so there's definitely recent ones I can show you guys too. But if you guys are interested in that, please let me know. And also, if you're interested in hearing more about these uh, MLM scams, because they're so interesting to me, and I can honestly talk about them for days. I literally do nothing but just sit and like research these. So if you're interested in that, please hit a girl up. Let me know. Uh, hit a boss babe up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and yeah, thank you for watching, I guess.